<laughs> What's going on everybody? It's Mark here with another video and today we have a camera. So the good people over at Fuji Cameras sent over something for me to test out. Something I'm looking forward to and something I'm really excited to check out. It's in this box. Okay, we're gonna bleep that. That has my address. You can only find that out if you have legitimate business inquiries. Okay, here we go. And there we are. So today we are taking a look at Fuji Films Instax SQ10 camera, the instant printing one. But it has a few things that kind of make it a little bit more modern and a little bit more relevant in the sense of technology. Okay, so here's the actual camera itself, okay. And they sent out three boxes of Instax paper for us to play around. So these are the paper cartridges. This is what you print on. There's 10 in each little box here. We're gonna put that off to the side. Put that off gently to the side, okay? And here's the actual camera. So at the top of the box, we have Instax SQ10, an actual picture of the camera. It's a hybrid instant camera. That means that you can instantly print what photo you just took and or a digital copy for you to print later, edit it, bring it to your computer, whatever you want. You got the instant version, you got the digital version. It does come with 10 filters for you to play around with. Create your edge. So we got a bunch of paperwork, paperwork. This paperwork is, I'm gonna need this. This is how you fill it up. Box of accessories, micro USB for us to charge everything up. Wrist strap, no idea what this is, but I'm pretty sure it has a purpose. And of course a battery, perfect. The actual camera right here, wow. You know, I always had this, this sense of this being a little bit more on the flimsy side, you know, instant cameras usually are a little bit more flimsy, but this is really well built. From, from the five seconds I've held it, I like the feel of it. Okay, so in the front, we're equipped with a 3.7 megapixel camera, f2.4, pretty neat. And the front actual lens is what you use as the power button. You can turn it off and on. I haven't put the battery in, so it won't turn on. But let's continue around the camera. You got the flash up top, a few buttons in the front. You have a three inch monitor on the back and some controls on the bottom here. On the right hand side of the camera, you are welcomed with the charging port, the micro USB, a micro SD card. So you will be using micro SD, not a regular SD card. On the bottom, you'll see a tripod mount. That's very welcome. And on the left hand side, you have the battery port. And just above the battery slot, we have an auto and manual kind of knob here. So if you go into auto, it will automatically print the photo you just took. If you go into manual, you'll then have an option to print it later, print it now. You'll have options to edit it. You So it's pretty simple in design, but the fun comes in when you actually load the battery and load a few pieces of paper. So let me go ahead and put the battery in. Okay, so next step we have to do is actually load the cartridge. I'm gonna try to do it without the instructions. I have it nearby but I'm pretty sure we'll figure it out. Okay, so lift up the flap here. There we go, and you're welcome with the cartridge bit. Then we grab one of the cartridges. Is that it? Just like that? That was easy. And as soon as you load your first cartridge, you get welcomed with the welcoming screen. So I'm just gonna go through English. Oh gosh, what did I do? Back, oh! So these are two programmable buttons that you can actually program. Right now I have an option of what I wanna set it to. What I'll do is the default shutter shutter. So both of these buttons are the actual shutter button. Okay, good to go. Okay, I guess the cartridge is loaded. They just spat this out. I believe that's the protective thing. Okay, before I kind of go in the details of all the fun things you can do with this, so instead of taking camera of the monitor and of the camera, let's go somewhere outside. This is the last couple of days of summer, so let's go to Toronto. Okay, so we're now in Toronto, as you can tell. That's how you spell it, if you were wondering. Uh, we're just gonna go around town taking photos, and then by the end of it, you'll have a comprehensive review of what this thing can actually do. Let's do it.
Okay, so we just spent a couple hours downtown Toronto walking around, taking some pictures. Honestly, I like the thing. It's fun when these things pop out. Honestly, some of the cool features is one, all the filters. You have so many options to check out, to change, to alter images. You can change exposure. You can have a little vignette fun. If you're looking for kind of more involved shots, you can have the double exposure shot, bulb shot. So that kind of gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of what you want. Plus, it's cool that you have the digital version. Now, I can go home, edit it, put it on Instagram. But for something that's kind of very into and very forward that they want to share things right away, there's no Wi-Fi capability. I can't get it on my phone and post it right away, which also adds maybe I'm going to spend more time in the moment, right? Because these create memories right away. Speaking of these photos, the color's great. The exposure is a little bit hard to hit sometimes, but very vivid, very vibrant, very contrasty images. I'm honestly very impressed. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in. This was Fuji's Instax SQ10. Thanks again to the guys over at Fuji's for sending this over for letting me check it out. But for now, thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.